And I'm here with Anand from Palo Alto Networks uh, at RSAC. Anand, so much happening this week. What are the top two or three strategic themes from your point of view here at RSAC? Look, the biggest theme that I'm seeing at RSA is, of course, uh, every organization is seeing as they're looking at AI, how do they secure their AI by design, both for employees accessing AI and the applications they're building, which are AI powered. The second big thing I'm, I'm hearing is around how do you simplify cybersecurity and move to an autonomous um, an environment? And that's where all the work on the SOC and the automation comes into play. And last but not the least, as I talk to many customers around, you know, a hybrid workforce and network security, a lot of discussion around secure enterprise browser. Because majority of the threats that we are seeing are happening from browser-based attacks. And how do you ensure that you add another layer of protection on managed devices and also how do you embrace security for unmanaged devices to the browser? So those are the top three themes I'm seeing, Evan. Uh, such an interesting insight. Um, you know, talk about your team. Uh, you've been in this industry for 30 or so years. Sorry to age you here. But you have built an impressive team, impressive culture. Give us a peek behind the curtain into what's happening at Palo Alto Networks these days. Look, at Palo Alto Networks, we first, this is the most collaborative company I've mm. ever worked in. Cybersecurity is a team sport, right? Mm. So what drives this team is really innovation, right? The, the, the forefront of most technology companies should be around what we do for innovation. And in this case, we are mission driven. We want to stay ahead of the, the attackers. We want to make sure that our, our employees are, 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 are accessing things safely for companies that we're giving solutions for. They're having the right cyber city solutions so they can focus on what they do, they do best, run their business and let us drive all the outcomes for security for them. Wow, that's such an important note. Um, and for aspiring uh, future employees of Palo Alto Networks or up and coming uh, uh, younger folks interested in this industry, What's your advice to them? Uh, uh, guidance, tips? Yeah, uh, you know, look, um, I give the same guidance to my daughter who's <laughs> in college right now. Like, you know, this is the age to learn. Like, we're mm. all fortunate to be in this time, in this industry, with all this amazing innovation happening. And there's so much opportunity. Focus on learning and everything else will take care of itself. Such a, a simple but important piece of advice. And what keeps you up at night, if I can ask? I mean, there's so many challenges and threats. It's exciting as an industry. But the real world, it's, it's pretty scary. How, how do you sleep well at uh, night or not? No, I, I sleep well at night. I have an amazing, amazing team. Okay. And, and this is something that, that we are very proud of. We have some of the best security professionals in our team, the best researchers, the best developers, the best people that are building the most amazing products to simplify cybersecurity, to help our customers get the best outcomes from a security perspective so they can focus on their business and we can make sure that they're secure. Well said. Um, for, for customers, partners looking to take this initial journey towards leveraging AI and security, what are the first two or three baby steps they need to consider, plan uh, on this journey? It's very complex. There's a lot of FUD. There's a lot of confusion yeah. and hype. But what are the practical steps yeah. to, to start this process? I agree with you. There's a lot of confusion and hype. Mm -hmm. like this is, that's why I say always simplify what you're offering. From a cyber, for AI, we really have two broad-based solutions that you can have. Your employees are accessing Gen AI applications and you want to have full visibility, control, protection from data and threat as they access these applications and get more productive. And as businesses build AI-powered applications to transform the operations, to give new experiences to your customers, you want to ensure the entire life cycle is secured from build to design to run. That's really you want what you want to do. So a secure AI by design, holistically, end-to-end. -end. Such an important insight. Um, maybe talk about some of the trends that you're looking to stay ahead of. You talk about innovation is staying ahead of the curve. What are the two or three uh, trends that you are investing in so that you're ahead of the next wave of threats and keeping your customers, again, one, one or two steps ahead of those as well? Yeah. Look, I think we announced today Precision AI City Services. That's another step to stay ahead of the competition. The old ways of doing cybersecurity based on databases and signatures are mm. not sufficient. Attackers are getting more and more sophisticated. You want to stop attacks that you have never seen before. The days of me stopping an attack that, that got affected, that affected you, I built a signature, I patched it, and now I'm, I'm safe from it, are gone. Attackers are sophisticated. You want to stop this day zero attacks before anybody has seen them. 
And that's possible through power of AI and machine learning and what we call precision AI. Really interesting. Can't wait to learn more. Um, we talk about automation in different industries. It's particularly important in the security industry where we can't hire enough professionals. We can't train enough. What do you think the impact of AI and automation will be on the workforce and scaling up security to meet the challenges we're, we're all facing? Look, there's a huge shortage of cybersecurity skill sets in the industry. Now, if you think about all the alerts and things that you get from a security perspective, setting policies, they cannot be done manually. <clears throat> you know, 99% of all issues that happen in cybersecurity are happening because of manual configurations. Mm. So you want to move away from, and they're not, it's not intentional. It just happens. People, mm. people it's hard, right? Uh, we want to make sure that we simplify and automate these. So give you the right guided recommendations, make sure that you can adhere to the best practices, tell you things before they happen, guide you to remediated workflow. And that's really what you get with new, new solutions from Palo Alto Networks. Can't wait to see that in action. Every day you pick up the paper, there's another ransomware incident, another breach. It really is um, <coughs> kind of terrifying just opening the newspaper, so to speak, every morning. How do you rationalize that? and? Maybe give us a, a snapshot of what's happening on the positive side, all the threats that you're defending against, yeah. all the success stories that you don't hear about yeah. in the media. What's what's happening there and what's, what's the, you know, what's the future? Are we going to just uh, become accustomed to these stories daily or are we going to sort of win the battle over times, weeks, months, years? Look, I'm extremely optimistic, hmm. right? Uh, this is something that I think we are ahead of it. Right? And I'll tell you some examples. They are stopping around 12 billion, with a B, threats every single day. Wow. Right? A small number of them, compared to 12 billion, 19 to 20 million uh, threats, are attacks that nobody has ever seen before. Wow. Right? This is because of the power of this precision AI services that we have. They are stopping these threats before they happen. Every single service that we have is now augmented with the power of AI and machine learning and precision AI services. We have over 4,000 plus machine learning models in network security that are stopping the advanced threats, uh, phishing attacks, uh, ransomware attacks, uh, attacks on that you can stop with sandboxing, DNS attacks. So we are staying ahead of the competition. It's also about combining these things together, by having the network effect of data. So when you enable multiple of these services, they share threat intelligence and they're able to stop the kill chain. Well, that, that's a positive note here, which I'm really excited about. Not too much good news out there. Um, talk about where you invest. I mean, Palo Alto Networks is known for its you know, massive R&D investments, its acquisition of really innovative companies. How do you see your innovation investments you know, continuing and paying off? Yeah. Look, I think we spend a lot of work. We have some amazing engineers in R&D globally, and we're always looking at what trends are happening in the industry. And it's a combination of what we build and what we buy, right? And that's something I will continue to do. Well, uh, so much to catch up on here. So many announcements. Uh, can't wait to see uh, much more of the news. We're only here uh, speaking uh, live in person on Tuesday. So uh, congratulations on all the success. And I can't wait to catch up over the upcoming weeks and months. Thanks Thank a lot. you, Evan. Take nice care. talking to you.